YouTube, what's going on? It's Professional Madden Player T. Davis, and welcome to another free mini scheme here on the YouTube channel, We're breaking down 32 NFL team playbooks, going over the five best money plays in each playbook. I think you guys are going to really enjoy today's video. It's going to help you guys improve a lot when it comes to getting better at competitive Madden. Make sure you guys subscribe here to the channel on YouTube for the best pro player tips, gameplays, eBooks, and much more. Check out my coaching sessions down below as well. We have 30 minute and 60 minute sessions if you want to improve as a Madden player. I also have a defensive ebook available, my multiple playbook defensive ebook. We have 80 minutes worth of run scheme, defensive scheme, how to build a scheme in general. Uh, we have some great blitzes in the ebook as well. So definitely check that stuff out. I stream on Twitch as well. You can check out all my social medias all my links in the description below. Definitely check all that stuff out in the links in the description below. That's it for the intro, guys. Let's get into today's video. YouTube, what's going on? So we're back today with the Rams offensive mini scheme. We're going over the five best plays in the entire LA Rams offensive playbook in Madden 21. I'm going to try to keep it balanced, some runs and passes, but the Rams playbook is primarily a passing playbook. You look at the real NFL, Sean McVay, one of the best offensive coordinators, if not the best uh, head, well, he's one of the best head coaches, but he's one of the best offensive minds in the NFL. In Madden, they made that playbook somewhat similar to the real life. Um, you're going to see a lot of great compressed sets. You know, McVay likes to get his guys out in space, whether it be jet sweeps, using motion, compressed sets. He does a lot of different things. So we're going to go over that in the playbook today. First, we're going to look at ace close. And it's a little gimmick run that I like, but it's the jet sweep. Um, pretty good this year in Madden 21. The reason I love it out of this ace close is is because we have a balanced set and we can just flip the play if we wanted to real quick. And no one moves, but now we can flip the jet sweep either to the left or the right. You flip the play by pressing square and the right trigger on PlayStation or X and the right trigger on Xbox. So um, that's what we're going to do here. First, uh, we just look at the defense. I did a random play. Uh, I see the numbers to the right side. Kind of the safety came down or the nickels in that box over on the left. So I'm going to take this jet sweep out to the right here with Robert Woods. Should have a little bit of space to work with. You see we get onto open space like that. And you want your fastest guys there, your playmakers. Get them into space on that jet sweep. Go ahead and look at it again here. Kind of a balanced defense here. Looks like we got to cover three out of nickel. So um, for something like this, I'd probably audible down to like a dive or a zone. Um, but just for the sake of this video, because we like the jet sweep, we'll stick to it. And you can even cut this up for a couple yards if you wanted to too. It's really effective that way. Obviously, if you get a guy with like 99 speed and mutt here, it would be even better. So now with this... I, th I see the numbers to the left side, so I'm going to flip it. Now we're going to get Cooper Cup uh, potentially out in space here to the left side. Try to turn that up. We get an easy 8 to 10 yards there. Um, so really, that's what the beauty of it. You can just flip it to either side, see where your numbers are. Um, it's a balanced set. Now they're in a quarter three deep play, so this is kind of a irrelevant uh, play call versus this. But you see there, it's automatic positive yards. You're not really going to lose yards on this unless they really blitz you off the edge. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Bunch Offset, one of the best formations in Madden 21. You guys know I love my Bunch formations. They can beat man and zone. You can do some flood concepts. You use great spacing versus zone. And then versus man, you're all compressed on the line, so you can really get some separation versus that man-to-man -man coverage. And this formation has a lot of good plays here. Um, we got Smash Return, Flood, Speed Dig, PA deep, uh, Dig Fork, Bench Pivot, Curl flat Z spot. I mean, this playbook stack. We got verticals, bunch drive. We got a slip screen. We got mesh post, wide trail. This bunch is absolutely stacked. One of my favorite in the game. Play I want to look at is speed dig. Um, and we could have basically picked any of these plays, but they're all so good. Now speed dig. A lot of different things you can do. I like to come out, kind of run it almost stock, and I'll just I'll just streak Robert Woods like that, and I'll drag Higby. Um, you're going to have a little flood concept going to the left side here with the drag, the crosser, and the backside in route. Um, first here, we'll just check down to the drag, take our five yards. So you're kind of reading the defense. If they play underneath on the drag, that's when we can potentially throw it deeper to the crosser or this uh, little dig route with some good spacing here. This time we have the crosser wide open, but we can't get it there. Vikings coming off the edge. Uh, I'll do it one more time with this setup. See if we can pick up that right side here. Looks like we have Cooper Cup now. Up oh, wide open, but we can't get it off again. So if you do see a blitz like that, then you can just max protect. So I'll, for the sake of this video, I'll try to just block my tight end as well. See if we can get one of these open. And there we have the crosser over the middle. Sometimes it gets open to the sideline. Sometimes it gets open over the middle. Just got to be patient. Read that defense. Um, you can also do something like this. Put a flat route to your tight end in, the, in case they do blitz or they're playing zone. You can kind of hit them to them quickly. Just like that. Get up the field. 
So I prefer either a flat or a drag. And if they're really blitzing you, you can just max protect. But remember to streak square to the left side here to bring out any zones, bring out any man coverage. You see Cooper Cup, that was man coverage. He just absolutely roasts the man to man. Uh, we'll do this setup one more time here. And then we'll get into the next setup. Um, and then you can also hit this little dig route as well. Uh, right around the cut, first man, and then versus zone, he kind of just gets behind the linebackers. So that route is absolute money too. Now another setup you can do is my favorite, one of my double drags. If you did have route chems, you, I would put square on like a deep skinny post if you were an ultimate team or if you have hot route master. But for this, we're just putting them on a streak because we don't have it. And then I'll do double drag. So I'll motion over circle like this to the left. And we have two routes going underneath. We can check down to one or we can just wait, hit Cooper Cup wide open on that crosser. Obviously, having good route running, good speed for all these routes is important, but especially in that slot position. That's why we have Cooper Cup in that spot. So one more time here. This is the second setup. Double drags, and of course, streak square or, de or skinny post them. And we got the cross around again. We also had drag on the motion. Uh, we had the motion drag as well. But we're able to throw it over the top to Cooper Cup. Let's get into the next play. Next play I want to take a look at is out of the gun slots, halfback weak formation, another compressed set. You guys know compressed sets in Madden are absolutely money every single year. Like I said, in the bunch set, you can beat man and zone. Play I want to look at is mesh spot. Just love this play. I'm going to do it versus a random defense. Um, it really compressed, uh, this compressed formation really hurts the middle of the field, so you can create some levels. You can really uh, beat man and zone with it. One thing I like to do is this setup. I'm going to flat route square on the left side so my running back wheel can get up potentially for zone. I'm going to flat route the tight end here on the right, and I'm going to put a slant here. So that slant flat combo, really effective this year. Then we also have the post behind it. So we have combos with the slant and the flat. We also have the slant post combo with circle and triangle. And then we also have this flat uh running back wheel combo so basically we have all different combos all over the field versus zone and potentially man with the slant and post that we can th uh, throw uh, in between coverages so you can throw tight windows with these with this row combo so let's go ahead and run it what do we see here we can low ball that to cooper cup every single time we don't have gunslinger on our quarterback and gunslinger is very essential in madden 21 um, so we're not able to really sneak it in there but usually we can get in there as you see that that time it was man coverage Cooper Cup's always going to win uh, in that situation, especially in regular teams. One more time here. Let's see what we got this time. Looks like we have a little zone look, so we can throw it into that post. So once again, there, that was that slant post combo. Zone, The zones played decently on the slant. So we waited and hit that post over the top. And it looks like we have a man look again. Cooper Cup, that's easily. The post was open too as well, deeper down the field. So, uh, yeah, like I said, this play, that's why I like it. I'm trying to bring you guys some plays that will beat man and zone coverage. Um, that's kind of my goal here on the channel. This time maybe we can thread that in there to the running back on the wheel. So sometimes he can get even deeper in between the zones. I like to throw him usually underneath a little bit. But uh, if that's the case, we can always take that as well. Once again, there's a slant. We had the post again. And I'll do it one more time here, then we'll get into the next play. I want to see if I can get that wheel route versus zone right when he cuts. But it looks like they're giving me a man look again. Yeah, it looks like we got man again. So we'll try to throw that post, and we do. So, yeah, let's get into the next play. But that play will beat man and zone, one of the best plays in the game. I want to show you guys one of my favorite cover two beaters in the game. This is primarily versus cover two, but it can work versus all types of zones. Um, I, I don't really love it versus man unless you have an absolute speed demon in the slot there, like Tyreek Hill on that inverted streak. Um, and then if you have route chems, you can put the tight end on, like, a quick uh, corner or a quick post, which will go good which will be good versus man, but I really like this play versus zone. I've broken down Dagger so many times on my channel, so you guys know Dagger and Trey Y Flex is so good. I don't need to break it down again. You can check my channel if you want to see more um, videos on Dagger because Dagger out of Trey Y Flex is one of the best plays uh, in the game. But uh, this is the play I want to look at. is called Fade Smash. You're going to see here. What I'd like to do is put the running back on a wheel, and then I'm going to kind of smart route the tight end if I can. You're going to have a high-low read there on the right side, depending on if they're in hard flats or cloud flats. Um, and then on the left side here, we have that cover two beater with the fade smash combo there on the left side with the hitch and the, and the fade route. And then this inverted streak in the inside gets in between the safeties in cover two, one of the best routes in the game. So that's kind of what we're looking for. First, I'm going to try to hit the streak over the middle if I can. And you see there, Robert Woods is getting absolutely wide open, splits the safeties versus cover two, absolute money. Like I said, Fade Smash versus Cover 2 kind of works every year. It's a, it's a concept that works every year in Madden. Um, it works there. So on the right side here, we have that we have that high-low read. If they're playing back in Cloud Flats or even uh, Curl Flats, we just check down to the wheel every time. 
So put the running back on a wheel. That's all you have to do for the setup. And then once again, if they're playing back, which they are, boom, we check down to the wheel. That's an automatic six to eight yards. Now, if they were playing down and they're not, they're playing cloud flats here. But if they were playing hard flats, you're going to have that tight end post getting open behind the cloud flats. And we can throw it in there. You see the corner backs off. But if he's playing hard flats, we can throw it to the tight end corner onto the sidelines. So that's your high-low read. One more time here on the left side. Sometimes if the safety does or they make an adjustment and they have that safety play this inverted streak, we can throw it at Cooper Cup or the triangle on that fade. But um, usually in basic cover two, they kind of play to the outside, so we throw it inside. But that's really your, you have a two-man game on both sides. The right side with the halfback wheel, uh, tight end corner combo. And the left side, you have those three routes that uh, one of them will be open versus cover two every single time. So let's jump into the next play. All right, guys, final play of the five-play money scheme is this gun empty Y-off formation. This formation is actually really good, and people don't realize, especially if you have hot route master, you have some extra route chems you can use. But it's cool because in the Rams playbook, they added in these gimmicky plays like uh, jet sweep, touch pass, fake jet. So little kind of runs you can mix in as well out of this. Usually in this formation, there's no runs, there's no QB draws. But in the Rams, they added in these jet sweeps, which makes it pretty fun to use. So I definitely recommend mixing that in. Um, like I said, if you have rail cams, all these plays are very viable. The simplest play I like is curl flats. Super simple. We're going to run a verse every defense. All I like to do is put my tight end on a streak. And if it is cover two, we're going to have the streak over the middle. If it's zones, uh, if it's zone, like a cover three or cover four, we can just make the right read with our curl flat combos. And if it is man, as I've broken down on my channel, if you guys want to check out that video, the, one of the best routes versus man in the game, one of the best routes in general is these curl routes. So let's go ahead and run this, see what we have. Right here, you see we have the curl wide open. It was a cover three look. Curl route sits down. I like to low pass those with the left trigger and just sneak it in there. <clears throat> what do we have here? Same thing. Low pass right there. <clears throat> and like I said, you really want Gunslinger to be able to really fit it in there. That should have been a completion. Got a little bit unlucky there. This is man coverage. This time it should work. It does. Always low pass and possession catch those. Um, one of the most effective effective tactics here we have a quarter three deep uh very unlikely defense so we'll throw that in there run it we'll run it two more times here looks like we got a cover three look again these curl routes is absolute money i'm seeing if we can get a cover two look so i can hit the tight end streak but it doesn't look like i'm getting one all oh, now they're in quarter three deep again here we go this time it's zone and i'll do it one more time here and that will wrap up our five play money scheme but like i said mix in those other plays as well and look, that's even double coverage. Yeah, I shouldn't have that. That was a bad read. Try one more time. I should have checked down to the flat there. Sometimes you can check down to the flat if they're playing back. Here's man coverage, Robert Woods. So, yeah, make sure you guys mix in those jet sweeps as well out of this. You can also run the play deep and flat, one of the better play, plays in the game. If you, have a, if you have the slot route apprentice, I'd put him on a crosser or a post. That would make this play really good. But, yeah, that's it for this. Uh, main scheme, guys, five of the best plays in the L.A. Rams playbook. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel we're almost through with all 32 nfl team playbooks hope you guys have been enjoying all these i appreciate all you guys support man until next time i'm out